What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today it's Jackson on 307 Boys. Today we're doing my top five uh rookies, 2022 NFL rookies. Um uh, I'm doing like non-biased, of course, like guys that are most likely gonna do good because if I do like bias, I'd probably do like Patriots guys and stuff. Because I'm repping the Rob Gronkowski jersey today. I'm gonna rep the Mac Jones jersey, but then I grab this jersey first, so uh whatever. You know, I'm gonna rock with the Gronk. Rock with the Gronk, you know. Okay, so um the honor I'll mention uh is Sauce Gardner, quarterback, corner back jets. Uh he had ninety nine tackles, uh five point five tackles for loss. 3.5 sacks, 9 interceptions, allowed only 103 yards, and 16 pass deflections. Uh, four point, he ran a 4.41 40-yard dash, which was pretty fast. Of course, this is all his um, his overall uh, college stats. Um, I have that sauce in there. He's a stud, and coming out of Cincinnati. Kind of underdog for Cincinnati, the underdog. I like underdog teams, um, you know, I'm a Patriots fan. But um, I do like underdog teams, especially in college. Um, but at number five, I have Garrett Wilson Jr. Or not Garrett Wilson. I don't think he's a junior. I don't know if he's a junior. Uh, but receiver, Jets. Uh, he had 143 catches. 2,213 yards with 23 touchdowns um, in his college career. He ran a 4.38 40-yard dash. Very fast 40-yard dash, especially for a receiver like that. I think Garrett Wilson will be a top 10 wide receiver in three years. I think it'll take him a while to get there, maybe in top 20 or top 15 before he gets there. But in three years, he will get there and remain top 10 for two more years. I only think his band will be for two years in the top 10 and maybe go down to like the top 11, number 11 or top 15. Uh, but sorry, my dad's mo mo mowing, 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 mowing out there. So yeah, sorry, back, background noise. Number four, I have Christian Watson, receiver, Packers at uh, North Dakota State. Um, of course, they're a smaller college too, uh, FCS school. He had 105 catches for 2,136 yards, 139 yards. I have it written down right here. Sometimes I can't remember the hearing. Oh, with 14 touchdowns and ran a 4.36 40 yard dash. Pretty fast. And I don't think Christian Watson is that big a receiver. He actually might be six foot. I don't know, but he's, I don't think he's a very big receiver. So that's also what's pretty cool about him. Um, I think Christian Watson, 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 sorry, yes, I'm, uh, Watson will be a top five receiver in two years and will remain in top five receiver for five more years. So I think his span will be top five receiver for five more years. I think he'll drop down to probably 15 after that. Um, but, uh, then number three, Kenny Pickett, quarterback Steelers. First quarterback drafted in the first round this 2022. Um, his completed his percentage was 62.4%. Um, he threw for 12,303 yards in his four year career, uh, 81 touchdowns, and 32 intercept interceptions. And his rushing stats were he attempted 416 rushing, 809 yards, and 20 touchdowns. I think that's pretty. Um, impressive for a quarterback and I think Kenny Pickett will be a Super Bowl champ I don't know if exactly will be on the Steelers I'm pretty sure they'll do it on the Steelers though um and then I think he'll be a top 10 quarterback in three years and pretty much remain a top 10 quarterback for like 10 years so I mean that's saying he'll have a 13 year career or even longer I think he will have that um and number two Drake London, receiver, Falcons. Um, the Falcons drafted him, I want to say at the 15th. Maybe I'm just saying that because that's the jersey number. 
I'm not sure. I think he was lower than that. I think it was like 10th or something. 9th, maybe. Um, 160 catches with 2,153 yards and 15 touchdowns. Pretty impressive for uh, him. I did look up his 40-yard dash. It was a little bit slow. I mean, he is six foot three, I believe. So that I mean, that makes up for a big receiver then. Uh, but I think Drake London will be a top ten receiver in two years and remain a top ten receiver for eight more years. Uh, I, I think I will. Th I do think he'll get traded though. Um, you know, and then yeah. You know, he'll be a top 10 receiver and you know, people want him and then he'll go on a, like a team with maybe a all right quarterback and not be so good. Uh, but number one, I have Aiden Hutchison, uh, defensive end, Lions or Ed Rush or whatever you want to say. Uh, he had 156 total tackles, uh, uh, 27 tackles for loss, 27.5 tackles for loss, 17 and a half sacks. With five forced fumbles. I think Aiden Hutchins will be rookie of the year. Yeah, rookie of the year. Or uh, defensive rookie of the year. I think he will honestly be rookie of the year too. I mean, they don't really do that. But rookie of the year in general. Uh, defensive player of the year. I'm seeing three times. Uh, be a top. He'll be top three uh, edge rusher right away. Um, and he'll be a top three through your edge rusher for five more years. I think it'll be kind of like J.J. Watt where their team don't really succeed, but they're, like, really good. They're, like, best at their position. Um, but that, guys, is my top five favorite NFL rookies. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.